welcome back or for the very first time to the Homeschool Resource Room Insider, where everyone is welcome and your questions are answered in five minutes or less. Hey guys, it's Ashley from the Homeschool Resource Room. We're going to be talking about Pandia Press today, um, specifically Real Science Odyssey and History Odyssey. So in homeschool circles, it can be really hard to find non-religious homeschool curriculum. One company that's really known for their dedication um, to bringing secular education to the homeschool community is Pandia Press. This year was the first year that we tried Pandia for history and science. So first, a little bit about Pandia Press. They have three curricula going right now. Um, one is Real Science Odyssey, and that is a science curriculum. We use the biology, um, but it goes from kindergarten to about 10th grade. They also have History Odyssey that goes from grades 1 to 12 um, with history courses that kind of follow the four-year classical rotation um, through ancient history, Middle Ages, and modern times. And then they also have History Quest, which is their newest offering. We didn't get to try that, but from what we've seen from Pandia Press, um, it would definitely be worth a look. So a few things that makes Pandia really stand out. A lot of homeschool programs I see, especially in science and history, are purposefully approaching learning in a non-traditional way. So the focus might be on virtual components or a huge amount of hands-on activities or kind of flexible units that stand on their own instead of building progressively throughout the curriculum. The curriculum that we tried from Pandia fits more kind of the traditional learning and teaching approach. The style um, for science is textbook based with labs and for history you're going to be using real books and encyclopedias and kind of more workbook based. This is something that I think a lot of homeschool families might be looking for. It's a style that will be familiar to parents or kids who have previously attended brick and mortar schools and it's great for homeschooling older kids I think maybe for the first time or if you're temporarily homeschooling. When you use these programs you can feel comfortable that your kids are going to keep up and that when they go back, if they go back, they're going to be able to complete the same type of work that they would be in a classroom setting. However, when I say that this is a traditional format, I don't mean that it's boring. And I think that's the fear of many homeschool parents that their kids won't be interested enough or willing to learn. The labs and activities that you're doing are engaging and you'll be working um, in history with some amazing books as you kind of read and write and process and analyze the material. So although this is kind of more of a traditional style, it is definitely developed with homeschoolers in mind. All of the history and science curriculum can be taught to a span of ages. So if you're teaching multiple kids that are close in age, even up to about four years apart, you can choose a level that will be appropriate for everyone to use together. And since they can be used with multiple ages, you can also choose what topics you want to learn first. When we were making our choices this year, I asked my son what he would be interested in learning, and he was really excited about doing ancient history. But he went back and forth on the science. He did, do I want to do biology? Do I want to do astronomy? He eventually decided on biology and astronomy next year. These kind of options give parents the flexibility to choose a curriculum based on what your kid will find exciting and that will, I feel, automatically be more engaging for them. Something else that's wonderful is that they offer the secular version of this kind of classical history rotation. I think homeschoolers are in love and we are in love with the four-year history rotation. It's really cool to be able to dig into history this way. You get to see what's happened all over the world during a specific period of time and how events relate to each other. Most, if not all, of the other four-year history cycles that I've seen are either dependent on explicitly religious books or books that can be more religion neutral um, or Eurocentric. The classical rotation is definitely a non-traditional approach to history um, that you're not going to find if you're looking into a secular social studies curriculum that was made for public school use. So if you're interested in doing the classical rotation um, with secular books, this is definitely one to look at. Overall, we really enjoyed our first year with Pandia Press. I'd recommend looking into Real Science Odyssey if you're looking for a one-year-long secular science curriculum. And if that kind of textbook and lab format is appealing to you, and or if you need a curriculum to teach to your kid or kids um, that 
is definitely going to make sure that they keep up with their peers. History Odyssey, if you're looking for a really interesting history curriculum that uses great real books and you'd like to follow that four-year classical style and use all non-religious materials, um, this would be a good one to check out. I'm going to leave the links for <laughs> Pandy and Press below. There goes the cat again. Um, and if you have any more questions for me, email me, ashley at thehomeschoolresourceroom.com, and don't forget to subscribe.